it up off the ground. Uh, we'll put a new concrete pad down. Uh, new disconnect mounted on the wall with a new electrical whip coming down into the unit. Uh, we'll reinstall the refrigerant lines if we keep them. But we'll plan as of now on reusing the existing refrigerant lines. Um, there's no street parking. So you're going to have to park in your driveway. Um, it's on the opposite side of the house. And then there is a walkout basement over here. And that screen door there on the right will get you into, uh, that screen door there on the right will get you down into the basement right next to the furniture. room. That should be everything for this one. Hey guys, we're going to be doing a replacement of a, um, this is actually a furnace, but there's no gas hooked up to it. The burners have all been taken out, uh, but we'll be replacing this old furnace with a new air handler um, and a new coil and then a new outdoor condenser. Um, so our condensate drain line runs from the front of the unit here down onto the floor and then across the little walkway here to a floor drain on the other side. Um, I'm going to mention to him that we could put a condensate pump on the side of this coil and pump everything up and into the ceiling and then we can poke our line through one of these holes here um, just bring it across the drop ceiling and come down over in the corner and um, that way he doesn't have this hose laying across his walkway um, so that'll be one thing that we can do for him to make it a little bit better <clears throat> um, we're going to reuse the existing return drop but we'll add our april air media cabinet down here in the bottom um, reattach to the existing ductwork up in the ceiling new um, uh, the refrigerant lines we should be able to reuse them. We'll pressure test them first. There's a decent amount of corrosion going on. Um, so we'll pressure test them um, to, to make sure they can hold pressure. <clears throat> um, if not, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at replacing them. They do run through a hard ceiling though. Um, so those refrigerant lines go up into the ceiling and then they wrap back around this way. This is the hard ceiling that everything runs through. And then they go outside, you can see them, they pop back up here. So they, they really only run through that hard ceiling for just a bit. Um, they pop back up and go straight outside right there. So, actually I take that back. They're not going through hard ceiling whatsoever. They just uh, go through the wall there and then Stay tight to the ceiling and go outside right there. So if we have to replace them, 